everyone. Today we continue our new chapter. First order differential equation. Subtopic 2.1 about separable variable. Our learning outcomes we want to distinguish between general and particular solutions. Then, we want to solve separable differential equation. We have two types of solution. First type is general solution. The general solution of TE contains a constant C. Second type is particular solution. And the particular solution of TE contains a specific initial value and has no constant. First example. Given dy over dx is equal to 2x, prove first situation. So what must you do? We try to separate the unknown. Then, we write the symbol integration both sides. Integrate dy mean integrate 1 dy. And you will get y. And for right hand side, integrate 2x dx, you will get x squared plus c. And this is called general solution. Because we have c, constant c. For second situation, with the same question but we have the point. Now, the point when x equal to 1, y equal to 2, then we substitute in general solution, then you will get c equal to 1. Substitute back, you will get y equal to x squared plus 1 and this is called particular solution. We have two methods of solving differential equation. First method, we use separable differential equation or we call separable variable. And the second method, we use integrating factor. Separable variable. Separable variable mean we try to separate the unknown. Let's say unknown y for left side, unknown x at the right hand side. We have two steps to solving this DE by using separable variable. First step, we try to separate the unknown and the second step, we must integrate both sides of the equation. Second example, find the solution of y dy over dx is equal to 3x squared plus 2. First step, we try to separate the unknown. Then we can see y dy equal to 3x squared plus 2 dx. Second step, just write the symbol of integration both sides. Then, we have another step is solving. Integrate y dy, you will get y squared over 2 and integrate 3x squared plus 2dx is equal to x cubed plus 2x plus c and we apply general technique and the answer we have c because the answer in general solution next example you must find the solution of dy over dx is equal to tangent x over y. First step, try to separate the unknown. Then you can see 
you will get y dy equal to tangent x dx. Next step, you just write the symbol integration both sides. And third step, we try to solve. But before we solve, we must separate the tangent as a sine x over cos x. Then, from here we can see this one, we must apply the technique of integration. Right, okay. For the left hand side, it's very simple integration. But for the right hand side, we must use technique of integration. So now we choose u equal to cos x. So we differentiate, get negative sine x. Let dx as a subject, then dx is equal to negative du over sine x. So we apply substitution technique. Substitute back. Then we can see for left side, the answer is y squared over 2. But for the right hand side, after we substitute dx with negative du over sine x. So here we can simplify sine x over sine x can 1 right then we can see we have only negative integrate 1 over u du integrate 1 over something the answer is ln so the answer is negative ln u plus c Substitute back u with cos x, then you will get y squared over 2 equal to negative ln cos x plus c. Oh, sorry. Next example, find the solution of e power x plus 2y dy over dx equal to e power y minus 2x, where your y0 equal to 0. First step, try to separate the unknown. By using rule of indices, you will get e power x times e power 2y. And for right hand side, you will get e power y times e power minus 2x. integration both side after you simplify and you will get e integrate e power y dy equal to integrate e power negative 3x dx third step try to solve integrate exponent you will get exponent so left side get exponent y and right hand side get e power negative 3x over negative 3 plus c. We have another step to show. Substitute the value. So when x equal to 0, y equal to 0, then you can see your c is 4 over 3. Substitute back in general solution. You will get this one. But this is not the final answer. What must you do? Long both sides. Then you will get y equal long. Or minus e power negative 3x over 3 Before we end our lesson we have exercise for you Refer from your lesson before you must try to solve the differential equation 
So, that's all for today. Bye!